All right, so we're going to continue on here. I'm going to go ahead and unmask this thing. Well, that's how that turned out. Looks pretty good. Looks like uh, put a mat on here. It'll look great. So that's what we're looking up there. Let's look around over here. Yeah. It's got paint on it. That's all I care about, really. All right, we'll move on. Well, I lost my footage for these. That was cool. Done all this all taping off everything. I keep on walking by this and going, wait, what's wrong? Oh, it's painted. Got this one, these ones done here. I got that window to do, finish. And I've got this stuff I just got to tape and I'm gonna put this screen in here in the middle a little bit once I get I guess I'll just go in through the walkthrough and then undo the brake keep all this all covered up so I don't have too much just want too much sanding dust going inside while I'm sanding everything so keep on doing that Got something in the mail. Justin. Uh, on the Samba, Justin Broman. I, well, I can't remember his name. Uh, I made a video on just doing the key. And uh, anybody want to bet if it works or not? Let's see if it does. He only had the original blanks. And this one was a little more than the others. Um, like if you get a basic key, but it's still a little cheaper than Gabriel. Um, you know, Gabriel's great because he's convenient. He's local in Southern California. But if you're anywhere else, um, this is really uh, the way to go. He cuts them, and every time it's been right. So let's see if it's right this time. Got the lock coat off of it. <laughs> hey. Still remains the same, right? Justin, good job. So the question is, all masked off. I just want to make sure I didn't have anything in the way. Will it start? I don't know. No. It doesn't sound like it's got any spark. Hmm. Maybe there's an open connection. But it does turn over. It's pretty sweet. All right. Well, I guess it's probably got to look around and see what's wrong. But we do have a key.
here's the part you guys like to see, right? How does it look? That looks good. Uh, everything's pretty smooth. Can't really tell here because it's so small. Uh, got a little bit of pity stuff from the rust, but on that, it's not a big deal. Um, and on this, pretty stupid flat. There's not much as far as orange peel goes, or certainly isn't any runs. Got a couple of little orangey dry spots, but not much. It's all about getting that perfect time between coats. You know, there's, it's like, I don't know, some people say it's like a, uh, you know, feel the paint, touch it, and it's like a, like touching tape. It's kind of like that, yeah. You know, if you touch tape, it kind of, say, bright pass, definitely where it's not smeary. That's too, uh, way too early. And if you, sometimes stringy is a little, right, right on the edge, but some clears, you kind of almost have to be on that edge to keep it right, so. Every clear is a little different. That's one thing. I can't explain all that stuff in a video, right? Am I spraying without any orange peel stuff? It's just, there's a lot of it's experience, a lot of it's products. You know, it's, there's a lot of different things. But the most important thing is, is just the basic neck techniques. That I think a lot of videos now explain it. You know, Timing between the coats. But every, like I said, every product's a little bit. Some of them like you. The, the next coat to melt into the first one. Some of them like the second coat to lay on top. I think Tamco is a little bit, likes to be a little bit drier. I think it's something to find out when we paint the whole thing. I don't know. This is actually not Tamco anyway, but this is stuff I've used before. And uh, I'm used to it. So it's, it's kind of, it likes to get the clear on the second coat on a little earlier than the other ones. A little bit stringy. Not too, uh, just a little bit. If you're too stringy, it'll get runs. You know. Anyway, 